Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and uh, <laughs> I've recorded a couple of videos today. This shirt probably looks familiar even though I'm, there's a different background behind me. Anyways, it's now late at night, like the end of the day, and uh, <laughs> I was scrolling through YouTube watching videos of friends of mine and stuff, and I saw that JB uh, <laughs> from Big Red EDC, he posted a video unboxing his new Finch Cimarron. And I was like, dude, they're sending me a Cimarron. I wonder where mine is at. And then I realized I didn't check the mailbox today. And so I ran outside, all excited, no shoes on. And sure enough, there was a package from Finch Knife Co. in my mailbox. Now what's crazy is um, they said they're sending me a Cimarron, which is really cool. Spencer over at Finch is one of the most generous dudes I ever talked to. Um, it seems like every time I talk to him, he's like trying to send me a knife to review, which is really, really nice of him. I appreciate it. And uh, also importantly, big thing to me, I also only want to work with companies in that way, like have them send me product when they're really cool about me sharing my honest feedback about knives. And they're very cool about that. And they value the feedback that I give. So really cool dudes. Anyways, there's no way that this is only one knife. This feels like three Finch knife boxes, if I'm not crazy. So I don't know what is happening here because he told me to pick a color and I did and so I, I we're gonna find out together what's in here um, but I yeah I don't know what's going on so using the uh, Vox F5.5 Urban EDC Supply exclusive to go ahead and bust this open real quick Let's see what we got yeah, this is literally three knife boxes all right hold on Happy New Year. Couple of knives for you. Thought you might want to do a giveaway to celebrate your podcast. Congratulations. Have a good one, Spencer. Spencer, you're the freaking man, dude. I absolutely do want to do a giveaway to celebrate my podcast. So be on the lookout for that. Apparently I'll have a giveaway video soon. Um, that's way cool. I appreciate it, man. All right, so there's a Cimarron. This box isn't marked. I don't know what's in that one. And a Cimarron. Okay, so there's two Cimarron boxes. One says it's the black and gray, and then there's the gray and yellow, which is the one that I asked for uh, when he asked what color I liked. Although it was really a toss-up because I think all of the colors <laughs> look really, really cool. Um, and then there's a box that doesn't have a label. Like, see, they have these labels on the bottom of the box that say what it is. This one has no label, so I don't know what this one is. Um, that'll be a surprise. Let's do the one that I knew I was getting first. All right. The Cimarron is their newest model, and I've been excited about this for a while. Um, <laughs> I'm going to maybe regret this in some way because it's like a security question <laughs> on some weird like online things to get passwords, although I never picked that one, so I think I'm safe. Um, the street that I grew up on was called Cimarron, and... Uh, it was spelled slightly differently. There were two M's, but other, otherwise it was the same exact word. Um, this is their Cimarron sticker. I love that they do unique stickers for each knife that they do. Anyways, because it was like my address growing up was Cimarron, I feel like ever since they said that that would be the name of this knife, I was extra interested in it. So we've got the Flipping the Finch sticker. We've got the Cimarron sticker. We've got the Band-Aid, of course, and the warranty card. So... Very cool, very cool. Finch Knives is just awesome. All right, here we have the knife. These are in 14C28N, which is the first time that Finch has used that steel. I'm excited to see how it fares. Ooh, I wasn't sure how big to expect this to be uh, because I just recently got the Holiday, and the Holiday uh, was bigger than I was expecting it to be. This feels, I'll have to put them side by side in my first impressions or my review. This feels about the same length as the Holiday. It's a little bit longer than their other knives. I like that, kind of like that they're growing the size of their knives a little bit. You can see it's gray G10 on the outside. We've got their Loom Insignia again, and then we've got it's gray on top of yellow and then with a gray backspacer. I just feel like that layering looks really, really cool on here. We've got a milled titanium pocket clip. And this G10 is like polished G10. It feels really smooth, very nice. Let's see how the action is. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Yeah, that is a sweet blade. Just a really nice profile. It's very slender. I think it's a cool knife. I'm excited to give it a shot. I have 
at least one of every model of <laughs> the Finch knives. And uh, the only one that I bought was the Runtley. They have been so cool and have sent me every new model that they've come out with. And I just, I really get a kick out of the knives. Um, I recommend them to a lot of people and they're just a lot of fun. This is a cool, cool knife. Yeah, that's fun. All right, so there is the yellow and gray Cimarron. This one's mine <laughs> that I know. All right, let's see how this black one looks. And then we'll see what's in the mystery box. So yeah, this one, you can see right here, it says it's black and gray. Let's see what we're working with. Oh man, it's late. My, my dexterity isn't what it was before. So again, we've got all the same things in the box. All of this fun stuff. Waiting for you in there. And, ooh, it looks sleek in the black. All right, a little bit of oil on it because it's brand, brand new. Yeah, this is sweet, look at that. All right, so we have same exact knife, different color. Still polished G10, feels really smooth, really good. I kind of have a thing for polished G10. It feels nice. Got gray on the inside now. This one's definitely um, less in your face than the yellow on the other one. It action feels identical, which is a good thing. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Get past the detent. Smooth. This is sweet. The Cimarron. All right, yeah, so we have the black one out of the box now as well. Let's put them side by side so you can see. Black one and a gray one. I'll show you the inside. Both very cool. All right, let's see what's in the mystery box. All right, I'm gonna keep this perfect, 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 because it seems I'm gonna be giving this one away. So let's make sure it's just right for whoever the, the real owner is gonna be. All right, mystery box. Oh, dude, I'm so stoked. All right, so I, uh, one of my favorite models that Finch makes is the 1929. And check this out. First of all, that is the dopest sticker that they make, I think. I really vibe with that sticker. That is sweet. Uh, we got all the same stuff in here again. Flipping the Finch sticker, warranty card, band-aid. And then look at this. This looks to me like a Micarta 1929. I have the wooden 1929 right now. And... I love that knife. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. This is sweet. This looks like a denim micarta. How did I not even know they were doing these? Very, very cool. All right, so this one's for me. This is not the one I'm giving away. <laughs> I'm giving away the uh, the extra Cimarron because this is really, really freaking cool. The micarta has like a little bit more texture than the Smooth G10 does on those knives, and a little bit more texture, I think, than the Micarta on my Holiday. Um, but it's still pretty smooth. This is sweet. Ooh, I just love the profile of the 1929. It is such a sweet knife. Look at this thing. Man, this is really cool. I'm floored. I uh, <laughs> was so confused when I grabbed this and it was so heavy and so big because I literally was just expecting this to be in there, which is already so generous of Finch to just send me this knife to review. Just like, here you go, review it. Like, they're really, really cool dudes over there. They've given me knives before for like all of the major giveaways I've done as well. They're just incredibly generous, really cool dudes, and uh, I appreciate them. They're sweet, sweet guys over there. So, this is sweet. I, uh, yeah, I'm at a bit of a loss for words, which is interesting for me, because I always have a lot of words to say, don't I? But I will absolutely use and appreciate both of these knives, and I hope that whoever wins this sucker is going to appreciate it as well. That's really, really cool of them to send this just for me to give away. Um, so be on the lookout for that. There will be a giveaway soon. Um, in celebration of the podcast. Plus, I just hit 6,000 followers on Instagram today. I literally didn't even notice someone DM'd me, and they're like, congrats on hitting 6K. And I was like, oh, shoot. Um, 
So I've got some, some giveaways to make happen. Um, I don't know where I'll host each one, but yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll keep you updated. Thanks so much, guys, and thank you especially to Finch Knives. There will be review coming on this guy. Uh, because it is brand new. I also still need to do my first impressions and my review of the holiday. Um, and I kind of want to do... Uh, one or two of my Finch Knives are loaned out right now. I loan them to people every now and then who haven't checked them out yet. Once I've got everything here, I'll probably do like a, a Finch's Nest. <laughs> I'll do like a an update on all of the Finch Knives I have because I'm starting to have a lot of them. And they're just a lot of fun. Finch is doing it just differently right now. There's uh, No one else is really like that similar in their designs and their approach to making knives and putting them out and I just I like what they're up to I like that they're unique and that they're pretty affordable and they're well made they're fun to play with they just do a lot of the things that I really like in knives and uh, they do it well and, and it helps that they're really cool dudes so thank you guys sincerely I appreciate it if I keep going I'm just gonna keep saying thank you so I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna go DM Spencer right now and tell him thank you all right I'll talk to you guys later